Hey, it's Rick and Strong with Black Hat Football. Week 10 of the regular season. One more week, then it's off to the playoffs. Hey, we're going to start with our unbeatens, okay? we got four of them. Central Catholic, Big Valley Christian, Oris Stimmick, Gregory. All 4-1. Gregory was the only one that even had a chance of losing. Hey, they beat Modesto 20-14 in our Grower Direct Nut Game of the Week. A real nice one there. Hey, Gregory opens up with a touchdown, takes it all the way back. Billy Kraft, a little defensive end, a couple of huge plays. One of them on fourth and short at a critical point of the game. Bob Avina threw a couple of TDs. Hey, here was a fun thing tonight we found out. Avina coming to the game. Eight weeks, fantastic stats, 24 TDs, three interceptions. To be honest, truth, almost two good stats, okay? We got to see him that. Fun kid. Runs, mobile. He's not a Howard. He's not going to go for 80 yards. But he gets out of trouble, he throws good passes, he's got that great tight end to throw to Gabe Sanchez. He had a TD tonight as well. Hey, speaking of Howard, Novell Howard, he promised he'd do something fun tonight. Modesto's offense still looking for some consistency. It would be great if they would spread that field, play the game, five receivers, maybe four, Get that defense spread out. Let Howard and, and Zaire Eugene, you give them some lanes to run. They're going to get big plays. Anyway, hey, he had a tremendous flip for a touchdown at the end of the game. Check out Black Hat tomorrow. We'll be showing that one. Hey, elsewhere we're flying. CCC, Turlock going to win a second straight title. They hadn't, they hadn't won an outright for quite a while. I want to say a decade, maybe two. Now they get a chance to win a second one if they beat Pittman next week. Tonight, Dalen Tilby. Three field goals, 47-45-36. Dustin Grind, pick six to open the game for the Turlock. And that's been a Merced issue this year. Turnovers have really hurt the Bears. Hey, Tracy over Lincoln, 28-27. Puppet was our game of the night considering who was playing. At the end, looks like Lincoln punter going to kick. Something happens. He stumbles at the five. Tracy scores with a minute left. Heartbreaking night for Lincoln. Same area, 56, low die zero. Why do we mention this? Two reasons. Dusty Frampton, over 4,000 yards career. Fantastic for him. Other one, saw a tweet that said Lodi took a knee and let St. Mary score a touchdown. Good for Lodi. Good for Lodi to finally point out to the, Sac to the Sac Joaquin section the, hypo the hypocrisy they force these schools to go through. They intentionally line up good schools and bad schools knowing what's going to happen, knowing it's going to be humiliation. We talk about it in the VOL, the TCAL, other leagues too. Sac Joaquin section, this is on you. You do realignment. You're the one that forces Lodi and Toke and West to be in a league with a mega power like St. Mary's. The same thing in the VOL. They force Lathrop, Western Ranch, and others to be brutalized by the good team, by fantastic teams. Section, step up. Next time you do realignment, do it right. Put the football teams in one league and put the teams that just want to play the game in another. Hey, enough of the soapbox. Manteca, 63-0 over Sierra. Hence, we were just talking about that. Why that one? Gino Campiotti, 14-21, 266 yards, five touchdowns for him. First in just a half, okay? Oakdale, 62. Okay, we're not even going to talk about those scores anymore. Let's move on. Patterson, 62, Central Valley, 19. Gabe Sanchez, three TDs in the first quarter, okay? Kendrick Bond, here's a nice one for the playoffs. He ran back a kickoff 97 yards for a touchdown. Any special teams touchdown in the playoffs is going to be critical. Chavez over Bear Creek, 74 to 64. Yes, 74 to 64. You know we're going to have lots of love with that game no more on huddle tapes on our side, okay? Hey, Stag over Edison, 38-35. Stag, your SGAAA champions. Jordan Wally for Edison, though, 200 yards rushing, couple TDs as well. Escalon, here was our shocker of the night. They beat Modesto Christian 37 to 14, I think it was. Elliott Mello, pick six, couple other TDs, huge one for them. That keeps Escalon's playoffs hopes alive and also means nobody is unbeaten the TVL now. Oriston before 45-8 over Delhi. They're one of our unbeatens. Hey, next week is a fun one. West side, Gustine at Oristimba. Oristimba has already clinched at least half a title. If Gustine wins, they're gonna share it. Up the hill, Calaveras 20, Somerville 17. Impressive game for Somerville. Nice, nice tight game there. Somerville's going to the playoffs D5, D6. If they go D6, they could win D6. Big Valley 48-37 at Riverbank. Just a fun game, that's all that is. Hey, that's what we're gonna do tonight. You check back with us tomorrow. Black Hat Football, we got tape coming all weekend. We got games. More than that, tomorrow night we talk playoffs, okay? Enjoy, blackhatfootball.com, follow us on Twitter.